Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of GearCast. I am here with Mr. Rick Reisinger. Rick, how are you, sir? Good. Glad to be here. Likewise, thank you very much for taking time out of the day to come and visit with us. What we want to do today is tell everybody what gear you're going to be running at this match. Well, uh, I just got my brand new Impact left bolt. Nice. Right port. Left bolt, right port. Yep. Sexy. Yep. That's so, the first one I've seen like that. That's uh, that's the second one. That's the number serial number 002. All right. Uh, nice. Uh, and then uh, running my Schmidt um, with a trimmer reticle in it. Okay. Um, I like a trimmer. Trimmer three. Uh, that's just one I prefer. A lot of guys don't like them because they're too busy, but once you get used to them, uh, especially on a no-dial stage or a chaos, right. they really shine. It definitely helps out. Yes. Awesome. So what, what is this contraption that you have back here? That is an MK machining uh, magnifier, because that's one thing about Schmidt, those little tick marks are so close together that for older people like me, uh, they can't see so good. I can see my turrets better with that magnifier. That's pretty cool. It is. It works for well. Everybody makes fun of it, but it works. Hey, it doesn't matter if they're making fun of it if you're making impacts. Well, sometimes. <laughs> All right, what caliber are you shooting? Uh, today I'm shooting the 6GT. Uh, I started out, like everybody else, running 308, 65, 47, 647. Um, I'm a dasher boy. I love a dasher. Um, but I run the GT in the bigger matches because if I lose a piece of brass, I'm not going to cry. All right, so it's purely economics. Yes. Now, and it's a good platform. It's a great platform. Um, I get uh, pretty much the same performance. Okay. It takes a little more powder, but it's pretty close. Um, but yeah, it's economics. It's, if I lose a piece of brass, this piece of brass, I don't care. Gotcha. No big deal. What barrel are you running here? That is the Bart line, um, spun up by Wade Studeville. Okay. Um, the, you know, that's one. The selling point on Impact is they were the original prefits. Right. And so you order something from them, you spin it on, and it's going to be good to go. There you go. There's no fit, you just go. Um, foundation stock? Foundation stock. Now, a foundation has a lot of stocks, and they look somewhat similar. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you remember which model you have and, and the uniqueness of, of which one you ordered? Um, I know it's a hard question because. It is because I. My original one's a Genesis, and this one's the next one. But uh, this is beautiful. I see yours. You added some spacers. Yes, because I'm taller than most. How tall are you? Six three. Okay, so you're two inches taller than me. And I have to have an uh, inch spacer. Okay. So that's they come uh, less. Uh, so for taller guys, you need to tell John Kyle that you you want uh, some, some spacers. spacers, and he'll uh, set you up. And then I run the foundation. Uh, Ancients uh, Arca Rail. Okay. I see you're running the Skypod here? Yep. Uh, is this the original Skypod or is no, this the second? second? The second. The second generation. Okay. Yeah. Um, I love it. Um, just like Doug said uh, earlier, it's because they can't. It's just, I mean, just the options are, you know, endless. Um, one thing about the original uh, design, it kind of gets, uh, this gets loose. Okay. And uh, this is a short action precision throw lever. And that's they just came out with those. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, okay. But anyway, so you can tighten that up and loosen it off. That It's like 25 bucks. Money well spent. Nice. Uh, what about this uh, weight system? That's here? a custom weight. Uh, that's made by John Wells out of Mineral Wells, Texas. Um, um, there's a hole. You can't see it. There's a hole right there. Yeah, okay. So there's a screw. It's got that. You have to thread that hole for 32. And uh, how much weight does this add? Do you know? A pound. A pound. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. And it balances really nice. So you did that to equal out everything, so it has that center center balance, or yes. Do you like and your guns um, heavier front end, or uh, I like them a little bit front heavy, but not much. Not much. Okay. Um, and with this particular stock, they make weight kits for the Genesis, the original Genesis. Right. But this has been cut out so much that you can't use those weight kits. So I can't get that extra weight. So I have to put it out here. Gotcha. Now what trigger are you running? Uh, trigger Tech. It's, Which one? Uh, the Diamond. Diamond? Mm -hmm. How do you like that? I've heard a lot of pros and a lot of cons on it. And I've never um, used one. I don't know what the con is. This trigger's got mm, 6,000 rounds on it. And never fail. Never fail. Awesome. Awesome. I see you have a bunch of accessories up here. What are we looking at? Um, well, I mean, they were running uh, those ESPs, which are great. 
but for the more budget friendly, um, I went to a local uh, audiologist and they made these for 120 bucks, custom fitted. Um, nice. So I can, I mean, now, don't grant it, I can't hear like take him through his piece, but I can hear normal conversation. Okay. And then, you know, the one thing about running muffs is they, at the end of the day, you've got a headache because they're just squeezing on your head all right. the time. And so it's and a lot easier running these than muffs also in positional if you got to get over and try free real cool something right. doing this. I hate it. Easy. You get, get behind the rifle and all of a sudden your muffs shift up right yep. when you pull the trigger and you're like, ah. Uh. Yes. So again, hearing pro, absolutely paramount. Oh, you've got to have it. Yeah. But because, it, you know, uh, and I, I'm not a great fan of uh, brakes, but they are worth the money. Um, you can see more. Um, I mean, at home, when I'm practicing, I run my suppressor. Right. Uh, but in, when I'm shooting, I run my brakes. What brake are you running? The APA Gen 3. Gen 3? Okay. Awesome. Um, and then this little deal right here is the <laughs> NRL Magic Book. Hold on, what, is, what does all this say on here? You got some notes. Check your gun in Kestrel. All right. I have a bad habit because I run uh, Dasher, GT, Six Creed, and BR. And I'm bad about leaving the wrong gun in. And so on the first day, that can be bad. That can be very bad. So that's why that's on there. And then uh, this is, you get with the NRL membership, it's worth the investment just in, for this. This thing's awesome. Uh, I run uh, AIC mags, um, and as they said, um, the Altus, it's not Altus, it's Altus. <laughs> Altus? <laughs> Even they don't know how to spell it, say it correctly. Um, two round mag uh, extension. Um, so 12 rounds? Most time I just run 11. Okay. Because most of your stages are 10. Right. So then you got an extra in your mag. Do you always run these, I mean, with that extended length, or do you find yourself having to go to a shorter mag sometimes? Most of the time these, 99% okay. of the time. I mean, I keep a 10 rounder right. with my back up. I mean, it, it goes in this. Uh, this one stays in the middle of my back. It don't ever come out. Um, then I run the tab gear on the side, and that's where this one goes because it's easy in and easy out. Gotcha. That makes perfect sense. Um, and then set up. Uh, Kestrel holder. Okay. Uh, money well spent. Um, sometimes I put it on my belt, and then sometimes I put it on the on my tripod. Okay. Uh, right there. Uh, so do you? You, do you run the Kestrel specifically primarily, or do you use an app? Ninety percent. Um, sometimes I use uh, Joe Baker's Geo Ballistics. Right. It's a really good app. Great app. Um, but I'm just more comfortable running this. Okay. Um, but that isn't it. You know, because these Kestrels are not cheap. No. So somebody starting out, that Geo Ballistics get their wind meters like 30 bucks uh, or no it's more than that the app is 30 bucks and then like wind meters 100 bucks so you can get set up to shoot long range for less than 150 bucks as opposed to 800 bucks right so it's a big difference for somebody just getting started and and they, the app works great i'm just more comfortable running this this is what i started with that's what i use absolutely so tripod down here yeah um as as uh it's been said before most guys run really right stuff um that's a leo photo um, it works great. It's not as good as really right stuff. If they'll tell you it is, it's not. Okay. But for a budget. Well, why is it not as good? The legs don't slide as good. It's a little heavier. Um, ex extending it out, and it, it kind of, you got to pay attention in because these uh, set screws get a little loose. It seems like it also has like a wider base up here. It is a little wider. Okay. Um, but then um, I, I prefer the ball head, and that is a really right stuff ball head. There's nobody can compare it to it. Right. Um, it's really a preference. Um, that's what I prefer to run because that's what I run when I'm coyote hunting or whatever. And that's in running. Um, I run a night force spotter. Um, I'm probably just like everybody else is going to binos. I'm probably going to go to binos. So you haven't gone to binos yet? Yet, but I'm going to. You're going to? Okay. So. Uh, but and then I see, I believe this is, is this the tab, tab gear? Tab gear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember they were like the original they were the, Yeah. And, you know, um, it's really handy because uh, a lot of times local club matches, you know, I get stuck scoring. So I'll stick the uh, clipboard in there right. or my Kestrel. I'll lay, sometimes I'll lay my Kestrel in there. Um, so nice. they're handy. Um, okay. They all have their advantages. Now, we're seeing it on, oops. On your Kestrel, this orange construction tape, mm -hmm. and we see it here, the white construction tape. What, why, what's this for? That's your wind meter. Okay, what do you mean it's your wind meter? Well, it's your wind flag, actually. So, what you do is, or what I do, is I'll set up, I'll find my prevailing wind, 
then I'll turn this to where it's getting free. Like, say if the wind's coming from this direction, well, I'll put this over there. That way, when that's moving, I can see what it's doing. You can tell which direction the wind's moving. So, if, have I got a true nine o'clock? Have I got an eight o'clock? Is, right. is it variable? This can, helps. Can you also tell wind speed by how? No, nah, not with this. Not this isn't heavy enough. No. Nothing, right? So just use it strictly for direction. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Now. This is pretty cool. I haven't seen one of these before, but it's bright, so really? I like it. What is this, and how do I use this? So uh, it's an ammo pouch. Oh, all right. So I've seen it's, different versions of this. Walsh, Never like this. Balch Custom. Um, so that's so. There's a hundred rounds loaded right there. This one will hold 120. Okay. Um, what I like about it is, for one thing, if you have a have ever not primed a round and uh, load one in the match and you pull the trigger and it goes click and you throw it out and there ain't a primer in there well now you can look at your primers as you're loading so that, that's, that's a, very just a double cool check. trick so yeah. when you're loading if you miss one you can always come back and double check it so it's a very cool tip um and then you can count so so me and you're talking and we're talking about that last stage right and i'm not paying attention well if i keep up with how many i've loaded then i know i'm not gonna get up there and only have eight and right did ten so that's what I like about it. I like how, like, I like how this one has uh, tip protectors. I yeah. guess, you know, I'm not sure if that's the right terminology. That's but what I would call it. Yeah, um, that's very cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this was the larger one. They make one the smaller. This, this webbing is smaller for like dasher rounds. Right. Um, but this is the larger one. And when I put my dasher in there, they'll go in there too far. <laughs> so. Gotcha. But, very cool. And then what? Uh, what is this? That is that a wee bad, and they actually don't have that on their website. Um, that's the advantage. So is this a custom? Well, not yet. Uh, it's it's kind of experimental. Okay. Um, it's their uh, medium bag uh, with heavy fill, and this is a wax canvas. Yeah, it's a wax canvas, okay. and I forgot to wax it um, before I come up. And you got to wax them pretty often because right. in dirt and stuff, it dries uh, out the it wax. It dries out, so yeah. it's not as sticky as it should be. Uh, but what I like about it is uh, you can really get that gun down in there, slam your gun down in there, and it'll, you can see how it would form around it. Right. And it gets really stable. Nice, nice. All right, we're on a road trip. We're heading east. We're going to go shoot a match in Maine. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You ever been to Maine? Nope. I heard they have great lobster. Uh, I like seafood. There you go. Let's go. We're heading to Maine. We for, we're 20 hours into the trip. We forgot something. Not your rifle. What are your accessories? He said, Travis, we gotta turn around, we gotta go get it. My Whoa. Kestrel. Your Kestrel. You gotta have that Kestrel. Yep. There you go. That's my crutch. There you go. Awesome. Is there anything else that we're forgetting here? I mean, that's a pretty awesome solid kit. Yeah, I mean that's a lot of that's a lot of money spent buying crap that I didn't need that I didn't know I need. Right. So that's what I like about this series, is helping people learn. Uh, and know. that's why we're doing these videos. And another thing is, is if you're at a, a match. And you and somebody's got something, they'll let you use it. Try it out. Yes. See if you like it. Truth. Because you know, everybody likes different stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, folks, you heard it here first. Rick, thank you so much. I really yeah. appreciate your time. Um, until next time, guys, keep shooting. We'll see you all at the range. Take care.